Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, will attending AA or NA meetings help my case? I'm going to go on record here and now and say that if alcohol or controlled substances have anything whatsoever to do with your case, then your provable and voluntary regular attendance at either AA or NA meetings can't hurt. That said, in the end, it may not wind up helping you either, but it can't hurt. Why? Because if you're court-ordered to do something, then you're expected to do it without fail or excuse. But when you're not court-ordered to do something, when you voluntarily act in your own self-interest, when your behavior evidences a dedicated and heartfelt desire to improve and to better yourself, well, then you have armed your lawyer with something positive to argue on your behalf. There's a lot of truth to the adage that actions speak louder than words. And voluntary, regular attendance at either AA or NA meetings, especially over a period of time, and most especially when it's difficult or inconvenient to do so, well, those are actions that will speak volumes. Take the case of a DUI where your driving privilege has been revoked. If you can prove to the court that over a significant period of time you religiously rode your bike or took the bus or got rides or walked to AA or NA meetings five times a week, then you've proven a commitment to the court that words alone could never convey. And that sacrifice, apart from benefiting you personally, could very well be the difference maker at your sentencing hearing. That said, I thank you for your question, I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.